victim says it happened last month, but she is now sharing her story after she says she got nowhere with police when filing a report and trying to share a video of suspects with the department. Our uh, Crown Force Taylor Bisaki joins us now live in the studio with more on this repeat and troubling story. Taylor? That's right, Vicki Grant. As you know, I've done a lot of these stories, whether it be in Oakland or in San Francisco. And what the victim, Homa Clifford, is feeling is common among many of the people that I speak with. In fact, some flat out told me that they no longer bother to file reports anymore over a lack of updates or results. Cell phone video captured yet another smash and grab at Lake Merritt in Oakland. The victim, Homa Clifford, says when she returned to her car, she found shattered glass and a note left by a witness alerting her that they were able to grab this video of the suspects. It happened last month, but Clifford says she's now sharing her story after she had an issue when filing a police report with OPD and trying to share this video. I filed a report on the link that they gave me to go. There is no um, link to upload any uh, pictures or any videos. So you basically tell your story and you submit it. So I waited to get at least something from them, either via email or, or phone call to see, to follow up, nothing. Clifford expressed her frustrations with the handling of the case. It's kind of scary to see they don't even respond, especially when you have a video clip and they have some kind of evidence to go after that. You know, maybe they will find another crime that happened by these people. When they just brush that under the carpet and not caring, this is not going to give me any sense of security, honestly, to go in that area anymore. I'm not going to Oakland for any reason by myself anymore. She says she now worries that these same suspects will continue breaking into cars or worse after getting away with it. The system failing here because if they let these people to just get off with break-ins and not paying attention to them and not being punished, then this is a green light for criminals like this. It starts from uh, car breaking and to house breaking to uh, murder to bigger theft. Meanwhile, Oakland police have been sounding the alarm for a while now, saying they're underfunded and understaffed. We reached out to Oakland police Thursday night about this case, but have not heard back yet. It's still unclear if possible staffing issues lead to backups on nonviolent property crimes like this one. Back to you. Thank you, Taylor. This is not the only recent vehicle break-in near Lake Merritt. You may recall it was just Sunday when Eric Davis here was shot and killed while trying to stop people from breaking into cars. Police have released this picture. They say this vehicle is believed to have been involved in the killing. It's a newer model Toyota RAV4 SUV. A $10,000 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest in that case.